In this chapter, we're going to focus on text and typography. So I'm still in the document called Root Map from the previous chapter. I'm going to lock the layer called Key and Labels. I'm going to hide that as well and then just focus on the layer called Root. Now, um, I'm going to left click on that just to make sure it's active. And we've just got the two root lines in here that we edited in the previous chapter with strokes. But if I go up to Object and then choose Show All, it will then unhide everything that's in the other layer that's visible and unlocked in here called root. So if I just click to the side, we've got a key in here, but we need the details for um, the cycling route in here. So just a short uh, few steps for the cycling route. Now we need to import that from Microsoft Word. I uh, also want to show you as well, if I left click on that rectangle, it is locked and there's the padlock symbol there. So we're not going to be able to click on that by accident. It's locked out of the way. I'm just going to click to the side and then I'll go to the file menu and choose place. So it should take me back to the info folder where we imported map icons from. And then I'm going to click on cycle trail. Make sure that show input options is turned on and then click on place. From here, I'm going to make sure that remove type formatting is turned on. I'll leave all the other options as they are and then click OK. Now I'm actually going to use the size of the box here as a guide for my text. So I'm going to hover over the top corner here, click and hold down the mouse and drag out to the full width of that box. Um, and then I'm going to stop just here and let go. Uh, now at the moment, then it will insert the type tool into my text frame. So I'm going to hit the escape key. So I'll go back to selecting the text in there. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit closer here just to show you what's happening. Um, now, first thing is, let's just change the text in here to a color of white and hit return. Now, the major issue here is, of course, that we had to stop the text frame short here because we didn't want it to run over the top of the key. So we had to stop it. And that means that we've got overset text. The text frame at the moment isn't quite big enough to reveal all of the text that we imported from that Microsoft Word file. Hence the red plus that's indicated at the bottom right hand side of the text frame. Now to overcome that, we need to use a technique called threading and we'll do that in the next video.